Psychotherapy is, is this idea of taking the most extreme version of the human experience as a way of studying the average human experience. I suppose Anna's experience starts off feeling like it, it could be universal. It's a woman who was brilliant in her career, mentally gifted, gives birth the first time and then the second time and, and has problems with postpartum depression and then feels like the world has moved on in her career without her necessarily having been given a choice in that. Ladies and gentlemen, back. Back, everybody. It stopped me in my tracks. It's that kind of project where you're like, oh, hold on a second, this is special. When we had our conversation, early conversations about the sort of the banal, minutiae domesticity with a couple and how that works with kids and moment to moment and life and the history of that and the patterns and the traumas around that and that being actually harder to bring to life than bigger traumatic moments in the play which in a way are a little bit clearer of what is happening but when it's that minutiae of day to day and this and that that's quite hard to do and so it's been really fun to do it with my real life husband you want your partner to be challenged and you want to see them be challenged and that's exciting. It doesn't get to happen a lot with acting couples, I don't think. You just hear about the other person's work, but it's really exciting to see the fruits of your labor right in front of you. By the time you get to performing, you would hope that all actors would find a, a form of intimacy with each other that feels natural and real. When we're rehearsing, we start with that already in place. So we can push it even further and we can kind of explore it without having any kind of nervousness around getting to know each other. It's different, for sure, you know. We don't have props, we don't have furniture to rely on. We have just each other and the words. And that's its own challenge, but it's an exciting challenge. There's very little to get in the way of what the story is, what the characters are, where things are, who people are, and how they fit together, and where are we going. I think when you're working with someone like a Simon Stone, or I worked with Benedict Andrews, who's a similar sort of real visionary with the theatre in terms of like space and how that reflects the story, and I feel like it's so much about her experiential way through life. The staging is about empathy, about kind of feeling the same loss of context and loss of connection that you must be feeling in order to do what she does. It's why I make the work that I make. I take old stories and say, these are ancient complexes that human beings have had since we've been human beings. These are urges that exist inside us. They're irresistible and they take over us. And yeah, it's dangerous exploring. It requires real honesty. And luckily, you know, we've got these actors who are not scared of exploring that territory.